shoes. And they also did it at Apple Homes. We had a demonstrating one of our amazing designs. It's a pyramid. Uh, here at Roxy with AJ. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go No, I just need like a piece. That's all. The system itself and what it does. Uh, so we have doors so far. Uh, lighting system. It's a flexible light system. You can see the arms. The light can go up, left and right. Right now we're just adjusting it for letters. If you need more plants than you have highlighting, you can always replace with longer lights with high quality color effect on the truth. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate what we have as far as access. The tank, the reservoir is at the bottom with all the nutrients. This is how you access it. We have the timer and the pump in here. And you can either fill it from the bottom or from any of the pipe because it eventually end up draining on that reservoir. And then there is also another axis. This guy right here. Pull it up. You pull it down like that. And then you can access the tank and reservoir at the bottom. And push it back like that. And pop it up back on there. Ah, they did not about this one. So, excuse me. So in the back of the systems, we have numbered everything. So we have one, two, they're all random, but the color code of this drain will match the color code on the pipe itself. And so pretty much the point of having this drain is to be able to drain a pipe all the way to the bottom, not just the drain level, which is almost halfway, mid halfway this drain will actually be able to empty the whole pipe. So let's say, for instance, this pipe is clogged and you don't want to shut the whole system down, then you just drain this pipe. And then what you do on the very top of the inlet, uh, come here, you'll see this thing. So you see those numbers relate corresponds to these. And, and also on the very top of the inlets, it has the left and right. So left is closed, right is open, and then that will shut down where the inlet is going to a specific pipe. So if it's coming here, if you shut down that on the left, it will not bring water here. You, in this case, you really won't have to go through this unless you like you need the plants to point to the roots and the opposite. Then you will have to worry about plants, but since you're going to pull the plants and the roots is still okay. It will get a little debris, but it will go in the Okay. Uh, another thing that we also want to talk about was this second drain. So this second drain is a constant flow, so this is the, wet, the halfway one. So this drains constantly, but this one holds the water to this drain, right? right? So this one goes all the way at the bottom. So if you ever want to move the system and say, I want to drain everything, you open all these valves. Right. If you open all these valves, the system is going to drain completely. And what you have to do, you're going to open this part this way, mm -hmm. goes this way. You're opening this part, going this way, and this part, and then this whole top will yes. lift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here is your pump. This is what the pump bringing all the water up. You see mm -hmm. this right here, and it also has a valve too. Right. Yeah. Don't close that valve because then you're gonna block the pump. But you could um, turn off the pump from the electricity itself. And here you have the water level. So this shows you how much water you have right now or whether you need to add or not you see so right now it looks like you're pretty low if you can look at it yes yeah so that means we need to add water and in that case this is the best part where you actually have to mix your nutrients mm -hmm. and then add them together right. it doesn't matter you don't have to pull the reservoir out you can add nutrients back down as instructed and because as long as you mix them correctly you can put them decide to put, put a pan off in this hole you put it in there, it's going to go all the way in the reservoir, gets mixed up, and gets pumped back out. Okay. And the good thing about it, you also don't have to worry about one thing, which I know, 
which I know you know, AJ. So there is a big thing about worry that you are not going to get an equal distribution of nutrients, right? Right. So every single one has well, its own inlet, and they're all coming from the same source, right? Which is under there. So you get an equal distribution of the concentration of nutrients from the body, right? Okay? So. At this point, you will not be uh, tired to say, hey, only kale. This is what we started with. Uh, you guys can continue growing anything else you want. Uh, the only thing that you're going to have to do that is to change is the light, depending on the light. But for majority of the herbs and lettuce, simple stuff, you don't need like marijuana lights. You know? Right. It's just these simple lights. Um, we have all the pipes uncovered for easy access, like how we had to take the system yes. apart to get in. So if you guys ever need to do that, this is it. And they are also uh, color coded as well. Yes. Yes. So if you look at all these systems here in the front, you see? Yes. They, are, they have colors. These colors will match, will match the, the back. So just follow with me in the side of the system, you'll see. So the color will match the drains in the back. Yes. On the valves themselves. So in that way you know which one you're draining. So if you see if you look at the green and you come back on the green, you're draining green. Yes. Yes. So and the valve is only used when you want to drain it completely. The idea of creating a system like this was that uh, we were aiming to have the system that would be ready for a restaurant. Obviously, it's going to have to be much smaller to access it quicker. But we have the greener setup where we have a lot of these tops, mm -hmm. and they're all only growing in the greenhouse, right? And then if, if the restaurants want the system that has plants already, we just bring the top. And if the base at the restaurant, we bring the top, put it in there, 30 minutes. We built this whole thing in here in less than an hour. Right. Just bring it here putting it in here and then leave, that means the restaurant can call you back and say, hey Nelson, I need another system with another plant. And then you bring another canopy and then you charge monthly subscription. So this is just a proof of concept. You guys can feel free to modify and add anything. And I know you are experienced in hydroponics. So feel free. Add, email me, hey Nelson, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Whatever the case. Science, this is the, that's why it's in the school. Yes. Because science, you actually build upon what other people started, right? So this is literally the first one. You will not see any lighting system like this. No. Because this is the flexible light system that can go left to right and up and down. Okay? And we wanted to make it simple in a way that you don't have to have strings hanging in the roof and having the light. And um, having to balance that. Correct, and having to balance and then it's always it's always hot. And they're, they're super light, they don't really get hot. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about them burning your plants too. See? Right. Yeah, so it's super very very lightweight. Very, yes. very lightweight. Very lightweight. Yeah. Um so um, I'm gonna make another video. Uh, so right now you know the axis here, right. you know the axis there, you know where the pump is, and you know where the timer is. Do you want to add water? Uh, yeah, we can add water. We can add water. Let's add uh, water. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll add water. Um, we have a bucket. Uh, 